Hello, uh, good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today I will show you how to bind detail view when uh, select any row of a grid view. Uh, I mean to say, uh, I want to show the details of the grid view on detail views. Okay, so first of all, bind the grid view uh, with the select command button that is available into uh, in a columns of the grid view. So there are different types of uh, uh, command uh, available in grid view that is new, uh, edit, cancel edit, and etc. Uh, similarly, we have a simple command that is select through which we can uh, get the um, column values or you can say the cell values of the grid view. So here we have a table and that is registration table in which we have uh, some columns like ID, name, gender, DOB, email, contact number, city, address, username and passwords. But uh, in this tutorials, I will bind only the three columns uh, that is ID, name and address. And I want to show the details of the uh, all three columns one by one on the label control. Uh, and after that, uh, we can bind the detail view uh, for uh, get uh, after getting the value okay so here we have a two fields that is ID and name on the bounded field and the one uh, field that is uh, uh, display on the template field that is uh, that is customizable field you can say uh, in which we have a item template and in the item template I have a single uh, control that is label control and bind the label with the address um, field of the table that's fine now uh, after the template field you can take a button control uh, ASP button control um, like the bound field similarly we have different types of control after the template field okay so uh, in the toolbox you can take a detail view similarly uh, in the grid view um, define the columns and in the detail views defines the rows or you can say fields so uh, we have a fields uh, 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 yeah there are different fields ASP bounded field similarly in the grid view we have uh, two uh, properties in the bound field that is data field and the header text so in the data field is matched with the table column name and the header text you want to take in the uh, detail view so data field is similar with your table column name and header text is uh, anything you want to take okay similarly copy this uh, line and paste three times copy this field and paste same of the label control uh, copy this and paste it here but uh, do not effect on the uh, single column I mean to say that is the template field represent the single column okay so remove this line that is item template uh, and um, make some changes in grid view like auto generated columns is false and also um, the same thing in in which we have a detail view that is auto generated draws okay uh, the grid view display on the column wise and the grid view a uh, detail view display on row wise so um, both are ready and um, create a, a button template okay uh, so uh, asp button field uh, in which we have two attributes that is text and the cell uh, and the command name so the text is a select also select and the command name is also select sorry uh, the cover name is select that is predefined in the uh, dotnet library the meaning of the select is here 
because uh, the meaning of the select is when we click on the rows selected rows that event is fire uh, that is on selected index change that is event on selected index change and create a new event for this event okay uh, so you can say the event handler that is uh, on selected index change first of all bind the grid view with the data source that is uh, sql data reader uh, this things i i oh, already done um, in previous video tutorials but uh, take a look to bind the grid view with the sql data source uh, sql connection uh, in which we have a three uh, classes used that is sql connection sql command and sql data reader the sql connection class is represent to create the connection with the database and that um, sql server and uh, only uh, only we have a single property that is connection string also we can overload the class uh, constructor by using taking some parameter in the uh, constructor um, but uh, here we have a connection string in the web.config file so you can use the config uh, connection string in the by using picking the file the configuration manager okay uh, by using the sql command class we can communicate with the table uh, and retrieving the table data uh, and bind these data with the grid view so uh, cmd dot command text equals to select a start from the registration uh, here we have a registration table so bind this cmd dot connection equals to con the connection is uh, available in con object and uh, sql data reader is represent to read the data so id equals to um, cmd dot execute reader okay that's fine now bind the grid view with that uh, reader that is grid view one dot data source equals to rd uh, equals to rd and grid view one dot data so data bind that's fine similarly we can bind the detail view with the selected data uh, uh, which is selected from the uh, where uh, grid view so uh, here we have a connection string which is available in web.config file so uh, retrieve the rows uh, on selected index change so integer id actually id is a uh, representation to integer so uh, where uh, uh, where i have had integer id okay so id equals to grid view one dot selected row dot cells dot text that is already in previous video tutorial so keep watching my all other video tutorials which is uh, related to asp.net and learn many more things about asp.net uh, you learn many more things uh, from my channel so keep watching thank you thank you very much please watch this full video tutorial and see how to show uh, the row details or detail view so thank you, thank you very much.